Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you like what you hear and see. And at the end of the video, if you did like this video, if you wouldn't mind hitting subscribe so you can come and join the diamond painting family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I'd love to have you guys. Um, and if you're returning, hi. Hi, my family and friends. Welcome back. Love you guys. Um, so I am doing a new series and this series is gonna be called my weekly wrap up. So I was doing a weekly video um, for my diamond painting Deutschland and just like keeping you guys up to date every week and I'm finished that. So um, I figured this way I could keep you guys up to date on all the different things that I'm doing. Uh, and the only thing I'm not going to include in this series is the mystery painting because you're you're getting those updates on its own series. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with this one. This is one of the budget friendlies that I got and I got the letter K. Honestly, I would have to go back and tell you, I'll put a link to it exactly where I got it from um <laughs> hold on while I turn the lights on I do this every time I, there's some things that I get I remember that was the air conditioning but we actually opened up the windows because it's gorgeous out so turn the air conditioning off just kicked in so this is um, from one of the budget friendlies and I actually took it to the pool the one day. Oh, I guess I should have done that. I've, I've been going up. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't have very much more to do. I haven't really worked on it in a, in a while. I only went to the pool one time and I started it there. I kitted it up there and I, um, and then I worked on it here and there. So I am like up to here. I still have the flower and the K to do here, but I did a lot of this. Um, and it's, it's really cute. It's, it's cute. I, you know, it's, it was just something that I took along with me. Um, initially when I got this, my thoughts were I was going to use it. There's a one of my dog's hairs, I think. Yeah. Um, my initial thought was that I was going to use this as my thumbnail. But, um, you know, I did other things with the thumbnail, so I'm probably not going to do that. But this is this was a really cute um, kit and the drills, they line up pretty nicely. You know, there's a nice shine. So, I mean, for whatever the cost was, it probably was like $4. It's a great little project. It really is. Um, yeah, so I, I was pulling this out actually and sitting on the couch with it. Um, I thought, oh, maybe this is something I can do while I'm on the couch. And it wasn't too horrible. I had this, like, TV tray table thingy. But um, I'll be honest with you. When I do finally go over and sit on the couch to watch something with Bob, it's because I'm just taking a break. So I stopped doing that. So I, I, I'll, I will finish this. You know, who knows? We'll see how much I get done um, by next week. And I forgot, I can't believe I forgot to show you guys this. Like I forgot to even look to see if I got it. <laughs> Last night I was like, wait a minute. I bought a craftably mug with that order. And um, I didn't even look to see if it was in there. And sure enough, it was at the bottom of the box. So I got a craftably coffee mug. They were on sale, I think it was $9. I picked, they had green and blue. I picked the green and it's super cute. You know how I like to collect mugs and now I have a diamond painting mug. I'm so happy. Okay, this one is pretty anticipated. I know people were asking, so 
This will be in my weekly wrap up, my heat project, my heaven and earth and designs project. Um, oh yeah, see, I'm not totally prepared. All right guys, so what did I do? I did the whole first row. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, seven, three, 10 by 10 squares. And then the last row on the heaven and earth designs that I picked out was um, another five squares. You can see here. So I did get to the end here and I went ahead and I did the washi tape along the side. And what I covered up was the extra one, two, three. And, and the reason why it wasn't a full 10 was because of how large I ordered it and um, whatever extra was sticky out. So I covered up the extra sticky. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So drills are super shiny, right? So the drills, so, you know, I went super cheap on this um, and my thoughts about this stuff. Um, I got a, um, this, this is a 19 by five by 63 poured glue canvas by Rachel Manure or something like that. Um, and I'll put a link to this canvas as well. Um, it was less than $13 for this whole canvas. I'm doing Heaven and Earth Designs, Josephine Wall's Iris, the Rainbow Keeper Story Keep. The Story Keep is the bookmarker. So this is a bookmarker cross stitch conversion, which is why it's so small. So I wanted to kind of just dip my toe in the pool of these cross stitch conversions and try my hand at it. And uh, so I didn't want to go too expensive. I just, and I didn't want to go too big. Now, oh, I just, I just did that. I just did that. I just popped that off of there. Let me go get it. The canvas. The canvas is sticky, okay? It's, it, it is, it is good enough for my project for sure. Um, if I was investing in a large heaven and earth design, I would probably try something like Upper Moment, um, or even heaven and earth designs. They do blank canvases. Um, this, I, this is fine. It works. It's great. But, um, two things I don't like about it. One there, it's like, there's no, you know how when you push down, you get a little like bounce. There's no bounce. It's very, um, I, I guess like flat and hard. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, and then also the glue is kind of slippery. So like, I always hope that as the air is hitting it, like when I leave something exposed, um, it's going to get less slippery, but it doesn't seem to, to get less slippery. So the, those are the two things I don't like about this canvas. Okay, guys, so I'm editing the video and I'm adding this in after because I, I noticed I didn't say what I liked about this canvas. So what I like about this canvas is obviously the grids are, are great. And I go for like further into the video, I, I tell you guys I have no popping drills and all of that. So the grid is like, is a great grid. It's a great grid. It fits the drills perfectly. Also, I really love the blue lines. So I think I've seen some people have um, blank canvases that don't mark out the 10 by 10. I, I could be wrong, but like that would be very confusing for me if I did not have that. I mean, um, I still do when I, when I diamond paint my heaven and earth designs, I move the release paper just to expose what I'm going to diamond paint. So I could count 10 and then, you know, count 30, but what a pain in the arse if that's what I had to do. Like I, 
I really appreciate the blue grids marking off my canvas. So those are two huge pluses that this canvas has, okay? Um, as far as the drills go, so far the drills have been pretty good. And I don't know, I'm gonna go real close up. Actually, let me pull my light pad out so you can see what, what the spacing looks like. Um, so far the drills have been decent. You can see they're very shimmery. You, let's see how they line up. Can you? I'm gonna zoom you in so you can get a really good idea, okay, of the spacing on these drills. Okay. So they're not bad. It's actually better than my mystery painting from Diamond Art Club, right? Like the spacing on these are not crazy. They fit pretty good. I haven't seen a huge variety of sizes on the drills. It's not like I'm getting super small ones and really big ones. There has been one color that had a ton of trash. I mean, I'm thinking, oh God. I'm really hoping that I have enough. In fact, I, I ended up separating it because I was pulling it out. There's probably some in here, but this is all from, oh. <laughs> so this is my trash so far, okay? But this is, I keep going out of frame, hold on. So this is my trash so far. This was my trash container and I was putting things in here. Um, let's see. So next, next week, this video will go a lot smoother because I'll remember all the things I need to pull out. <laughs> I need my, I need my drills. I need my light pad. I need my, I need trays. <laughs> I need all the things. Okay. Let's see here. Let's look at this trash. So I, I just want to give you guys updates so you don't go ordering this stuff if it, you know, without all of the information. Like I know this is what we usually do at the end of projects. But hey, I'm taking you along for this ride, so I want you to know what I'm thinking here. So you see like that one has a bunch of feet on it. Foot, foot, this one's like a double. Okay, there's another double, that's concave, another foot. So that's what I have so far. You figure, you know, um, I have my tablet here. Let's go ahead and open that up and I'll tell you how far I am in the project. I think I'm only like 6% or something like that. I still don't know how to turn this damn thing on. Okay, here we go. That whole time I was looking for the on button. Okay, so we go in my project. This is my Heaven and Earth Designs project and I, and I zoomed it out just to see. I zoomed it out just to see. So this is my project. I guess that red line means, you know, that's the end of my project. Yeah, because it's 200 and something. So that's what I finished, okay? And it tells you here, I haven't worked on it today, so no stitches today, but I did 12%, 12%. Okay, so I'm finished 12% of the project and this is my trash my collected trash, okay, collective trash. And let me put this back and I'll show you the one color. And I don't remember what color it is. It's a, it's a low color though. So minus that, obviously that maroon one, but all the other ones, you see those tabs on them? Yeah, they're like, and they're like a lot of doubles. This is a triple. So I was pulling out a lot of trash out of one color. So far, obviously I haven't used all the colors. 
Um, oh, here's a, here's a, here's a nub. A nub at the end of my container that constitute as trash. Let's get you out of there. Come on, this is your 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> he was trying to hide. You trash, you trash. Okay, so, yeah, so overall, I'd say, you know, for, for I paid less than 20, it was 24 and change for all of these drills, 90 colors, okay? They came in those little baggies, hardly any static, um, and they were missing one bag, so I was missing one color. Less than $25 um, from the premium diamond painting drill companies. I was quoted 65 for the same amount of drills. So for less than $25 um, so far, yeah, for me, I'm like, uh, that was worth it. Now. I can tell you that the company was not ever moment. And I have been hearing some really great things that, you know, cause I go on the heaven and earth designs, um, Facebook group, and I have been hearing a lot of great things about ever moment and their drills. I do not have an ever moment canvas. I I'm looking at one. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a, it's just a bunch of chickens. <laughs> I want a chicken diamond painting. But they're expensive. Ever moment's expensive. So I don't know what the drills are. Um, but I have my eye on this chicken diamond painting from Ever Moment. It's really cute. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm thinking about it. So yeah, so these you can see here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you um, up close. Let's see. Bob Bob is um gonna paint our 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 rooms we have three rooms and I'm you know I'm like dude we live in a retirement community you know what retired people do they hire people to do this kind of shit and I'm all about hiring painters but he he he's ambitious and so he wants to he wants to do it himself so I'm like go for it but that that means I don't have to help right because I'm I'm because <laughs> I voted to hire people <laughs> So, so he's moving the furniture and stuff, and I'm just like, yo, be careful about my stash. And be quiet. <laughs> um, man, this thing doesn't want to focus today, but like the drills move still very, very, like it's slippery. That's the whole point of me trying to show you. That's what I was trying to show you. So yeah, um, drills, will I order from them again? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm not going to say I would because I'm only 12% into this project, but I will give you guys updates. You know, if I, if I keep running into this issue, no, if I start finding other colors are not the same size, but you can see these fit perfectly on this grid. So, so far I'm going to have to say like, I don't see why not for the price and so far the quality um and the shine like well, i i mean i i really can't say that 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 it would be a no like there's no popping drills there's no issues there's no issues like that i mean look at it you know i i there's really no reason not to i don't know what save over 50% Okay, so there's that update. And I started the, the voted on canvas. Yes. I started it yesterday, so I didn't get very far, guys. Because you know my week has been crazy. So now that I started it, you know, I kitted it up and everything. I'll be working on it. Oh, let's zoom you out. Let's zoom out. So we can fit this in here. Okay. All right. And this is all I've gotten done so far. I think I picked the wrong stand to do this with because it's, it's kind of it's in the way. All right. Don't be difficult now. 
Okay, so, Oraloa. This cover is super heavy. It's like craftables, okay, which is nice. So you can hear, it doesn't make that, this kind of sound. This is very thin. You can hear the difference, right? You can hear how heavy this is, okay? Um, the drills, very shiny, okay? But I don't love them, okay? I so I know everybody was wondering this. Like, so far, so far, and again, you know, I'm very early into this project. I really wanted to love these drills, but um, I have been having some different sizes Unlike the, the cheapo drills, I have been having different sizes. And, you know, uh, this is all the trash that I've, I've gotten so far. Um, which I think is, is a, a decent amount considering they are full of feet and tabs. These drills just want to walk away. They really do. They just want to walk away. So the reason why I have one drill in this compartment is because he was naughty so he's in timeout i'm just kidding no um th this was a random drill that i found and so i decided to put the random drills that i find in a separate container because that way we really get an idea of the trash because the trash has been heavy and i, I didn't want to add to it with random drills which i normally do do i just like throw them do do <laughs> which i normally do i just throw them in the um in there but I decided you know what let's I want to keep this 100% fair um, can we I don't know why I feel like this is not focusing in like close enough to show you guys like all the feet but let me get a um, tweezer Tweezers, we need tweezers. Okay. All right, you see his foot? Just getting a lot of that, a lot of that. I mean, foot. This one is a double. This one is a double. This one has a foot. It so, yeah. And then a lot of times I'd put them on the. Um, this one has two feet. Um, I'd put them on the on on the canvas, and then I can't line the drills up, and I'm like, oh, which one has the foot? This one or this one? And then I have to pop it off. So yeah, there has been. You know a lot of trash I think um, I think that's a lot for how much I've gone through so I don't know uh, we'll see again I, I don't want to make any decisions on that you know so far I think also this is extremely confetti heavy guys now, you know I like confetti, so I'm not complaining. I love my confetti. Um, but I think when you're pulling off drills and having trash drills with this kind of confetti, it gets a little, it, it gets, it gets frustrating. <laughs> it gets frustrating, you know, and I'm just going to pull this off so I can show you guys um, the confetti. Like, there's very... <laughs> It's like you might get a, a couple of the same two symbols in a row, but you, you can see these are, you know, it's, it's, a, it's very confetti heavy. So, I mean, it's making it gorgeous. This is what I've done is gorgeous, but, you know, it's picking out these drills. So that's where I am so far. Very shiny, 
very pretty. Look at that. So we'll see, we'll see how, how it goes. Okay guys, so I'm still editing over here and um, I just realized that I, there's a couple things with the Oraloa that I wanted to do. I also wanted to turn the light pad on and show you the spacing uh, with these drills as well. Um, so you guys can get a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. So not too bad. I have had no popping issues whatsoever. Um, you can see it's actually, yeah, not bad, right? So then I'm gonna turn it off. You can see, whoops what they look like. You can still see some gapping because it's the dark colors. The dark colors, I feel like you can really see the gapping because it's white underneath. Also, um, I took a picture last night and I'm gonna insert that as well. Uh, there are some very faded symbols that are just hard to read actually sometimes I had to turn the light pad off to be able to read them. Um, so I'm gonna insert that, that photo here now, um, just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, back to the original recordings. Um, you know, I don't have any of the main elements of the painting done, so we, like seeing the rendering, don't really know. Same with this one. I, I forgot to say, my only concern about this is because it is so small. Like, what is the rendering going to look like? What is her face going to look like? We don't know yet. I I, I don't even think it's going to be in the next three. Like, I, I think if I look at it, I'll be honest with you. I tried to see on my tablet, like, what her face, and I couldn't even distinguish it out. So this will be interesting. I, 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 I like zoomed in to try to see. And like, I don't know, I can't even see where her face is supposed to be. I have no idea. Like, I don't see a face in there. So it, it'll be interesting what, what she actually looks like. So, um, and same with this one. Uh, you know, clearly all I have is background done, so I don't know what any of the rendering will look like. Next week we'll have an idea because I do go into the headdress up here. I just do the tip of his hair and then the headdress. So depending on how far I get, um, you know, I'll have an idea. So, um, I want to say that every every three 10 by 10 block has taken me anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes on this one. And then so far, I've, I probably have worked on this, um, I think, three to four hours. I am logging it, but I, you know, I didn't, that's another thing I didn't look up <laughs> before starting this video. I actually just woke up, like m made my cup of coffee and started this video. So, yeah, it's, it's about three to four hours I did. I actually am, like, blocking off smaller sections because of how heavy the confetti is. Um, it just goes for missing less and then having to go back, go back. So that's where I am on this one. And then I have one other project that I'm working on that's not dialing me. I, I remember I said I got bit by the crochet bug. So I started this. This is um, just a little blanket I'm crocheting for my nephew in Florida. Um, he is three. So I don't know. This is supposed to be crib size. I'm looking at it. I'm like, this might be, I mean, it'll be a cute blanket for him to carry around and like, it's Florida, like how cold does it get down there? <laughs> I got my dog's hair. I'm gonna have to wash it and 
and all that before I send it down there because I sit on the couch and do this. That's another reason why I haven't been pulling out that budget friendly is because if I'm on the couch and I want to do something, I've been doing this. I pull this out to um, do... To, I'll pull if I get ready for work and I have like 20 minutes before like and I'm dressed I can't sit on the couch because I don't want to get hair on my scrubs I'll sit over here where I diamond paint and I'll do this and I'll just do a couple rows so this I will put the pattern for this um, I'll link the pattern I found it on YouTube it's very cute it's very easy And um, I'm using um, I'm using Lion Brand Yarn Mandala, and this is um, Echo Caves. So, yeah. So this is what I have. This is um, this is one. <laughs> Uh, I said so I start pulling from the middle. I, I, I always use this string. And uh, yeah, this is what happened to it. I don't know. So this has been a kind of a, 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 a pain like getting through. Because look, look, I have a knot here. Um, but it's already a cake, like I don't have to make it into a cake. But yeah, what a mess, what a mess I've made. So yeah, this is my other project. And again, I'll link, I'll link the yarn and all that. And if you're interested, um, I'm using a crochet hook H. I go by the, the number, I mean the letters, but it's also a number eight or a 5.00 millimeter. Um, so yeah, this is my other project. And again, it doesn't take away from my diamond painting. It's literally like when I'm taking breaks or I just don't have, I have like a few minutes to do something crafty. I want to do something with my hands, but it's not enough time to pull out a diamond painting and do all those things. So I pull this out. So who knows how long it'll take me to do, but, um, yeah, I plan on having some kind of crochet on the side now um, because I do enjoy crochet. And this way, having another craft on the side, um, I won't get bored of crochet like because it's just something I can do to be crafty when I don't have time to diamond paint. So... I really like this pattern. It's working up nice. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. If you guys like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you wanna see more from me and you wanna to continue to follow along on these journeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Diamond Painting family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I'd love to have you. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care, keep diamond painting.